Did y'all know that Gronk has an amazing model for coding? Me and Eric were passing some DMs. He showed me this new model. I'm here to check it out. This new model is Grok Kofast 1. And yes, it did come out in August, but y'all gotta understand, I was in Bali, I was doing other stuff. I had a chance to play around with it today. Let me just show you how cool this is. Why should we even care, Corbin? Well, let me tell you three main things that I noticed when using this model. First off, it excels at agentic coding. Next, they train this model to have a mind like a developer, so it knows how to use commands, it knows how to connect the dots. And finally, it's cheaper. Who doesn't love cheaper things? I'm gonna real quickly show you how fast it created the dino game. Y'all know the dino game from Chrome, where you can jump, <laughs> avoid the cactuses. L look how fast this model works, y'all. First off, if you even wanna try this model, free for cursor, free for GitHub Copilot, and Klein. Let's go ahead and make sure we enable it. I'm gonna come up to settings, I'm gonna choose models, and then we're gonna put in Grok. And it's this one right here, Grok Code Fast 1. Enable it. Now with that enabled, let's open up a new project. We're in our new project. I'm gonna come up here to the agent mode here. We're gonna do Grok Code Fast 1, it's enabled. And as I said earlier in the video, it excels in this kind of workflow. Watch this, y'all. I'm gonna just put in this simple prompt. Okay, create this game. T-Rex Chrome Dino Game. T-Rex Dinosaur, a replica of the hidden game from Chrome offline mode. Space to start game online. Very simple, enter. This model will create a optimized development plan that you're about to see right here, to-dos. It will then implement it in a very fast and productive way to the point where by the end of this agent workflow, I'm gonna be able to play this game. I don't know about you and coding with AI, but in the last couple of months, it is leap years ahead where it used to be a year and two years ago. So make sure to stay tuned on this channel. Make sure to subscribe as I'm diving into a bunch of use cases for this kind of stuff. And Eric told me I had to check this out. So I'm checking it out, Eric, okay? I'm checking it out. And it should be live here. So we go to localhost 8000. And with that simple prompt, we have the Chrome Dino game. <laughs> <laughs> What's crazy to added like the animations and the particles. Look at this. Boom. And it added like the nice little background of these mountains as well. But here we go, y'all. We've successfully created this game with just one prompt. Oop, game over. That's not fun. Space to restart. Let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. Right now, this model is free to use, so you can play around with it. No cost up to this point. So go ahead and check it out. Add it to your cursor AI ID or whatever you use and see if Grok Code could fit your workload. But as you already know these style videos, I'll see you in the next. Did X just release a coding model that actually thinks like a developer, therefore deploys like a developer, therefore gives us better outputs like a developer? Very simple.